Star Report. I'm your host, Star. Welcome to the show. Folks, it is Friday evening, and I want to talk about an inventor from Zimbabwe who we are claiming here in America. We're going to give him an honorary FBA uh, tag this evening. He's missing. This is, um, I don't want to say headline news everywhere. I, I think the government may be trying to suppress this man's uh, invention, creation, if you will. He has found a way, 43 years of age from Zimbabwe. I'm just going to say Umbatu. I can't pronounce his name. I'm going to call him Umbatu. Um, he is now missing. When he came to America um, uh, this past year, 2023, he was poisoned, okay? But he has been making news around the world in terms of other inventions such as a television that runs on radio frequencies. It does not need electricity, okay? Or I, I should say multiple televisions or any type of electronic device can run off of these frequencies that he has tapped into. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm a high school dropout, but remember we did a show and I was asking you guys, those of you who are believers in the theory of God, is your God a frequency? Did this guy tap in from Zimbabwe, who's now missing, okay, according to some reports. Um, I've got a list of his other inventions, and he um, he has, a, I think, a middle school um, 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 uh, education, not a college man. He had a couple of investors, and they decided to go public. And when they went public, uh, his life was threatened, uh, I think, three, three or four times, then poisoned, and now missing. Did the U.S. government step in? We know who we are, proud Americans, capitalists like myself, but we are the, the colonizers. The colonizers of the world. We are the killers. <laughs> we try to police everything. And if we can't make a dollar off of it, we call it trash. Now, let me take you back to, um, <laughs> pardon me for laughing, Associated Press back in 2018, October to be precise. Why would the Associated Press run a story? Electric car that doesn't need a charge was not invented by Zimbabwe man. Why would the, the Associated Press run that type of story? To denounce this man's invention as if, you know, it's just some type of hoax. Also, um, there was a story that, that we, we, we did here on this, uh, well, one of my other shows, The Star Chamber, if anybody remembers, four African girls, I forget where they were from, they created a generator that runs on urine. Anybody remember that? Troll babies. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. Did they go? Did they go missing? Four African girls. It was some type of science project that ran off of a urine, a generator that, that was literally giving lights throughout their village. I've heard nothing since. Okay. All right. That's my um, main story this evening. Okay. Also, showrunner. Hang on a second. Um, I'm, I'm doing the research now. Passport bros are being drugged, robbed, and killed in Colombia. I've never been to the shithole Colombia. I have no desire to go. Is this a propaganda story? Is this cap? Is this real? Do they not want, you know, men, primarily black men, to go to other places to find agreeable women? That's the term I've, I've always used. Agreeable. Um, one of my sources here, Atlanta Black Star. So, so in the Atlanta metro area, they're putting this out there. Oh, st stay away from Colombia. But wh why would Atlanta be, be the, the main source to, to say this, you know? Do they want you to stay in the Atlanta tri-state and, and just be, ha be happy with the high uh, chlamydia and HIV rates that they have down there? You know, F find yourself a black woman. No need to go to Colombia. They're killing people down there, right? Phone lines open right now. Also, guys, I do want to bring uh, people on the screen tonight. I want some of you to cam up, if you will, if you want to. Send an email, and uh, I will put you on the screen. If you want to promote something, we can work that out for a small fee, all right? Uh, let me just do a check real quick. Deeds, how are we doing this evening with the audio, the spelling? Um, okay, okay. I want to make sure that we don't have any issues this evening, and we can just be uh, silly and somewhat goofy, all right? 
Um, Luis, I got your donate donation. Thank you for tapping in. Uh, oh, the Dr. Sabi technology. Hashtag I'm hating big nigga. Okay, okay. Okay, tonight's a great night to, to do all to do all in any types of conspiracies, okay? Kill Mo Lemonade. Got your donation. Okay, are you calling in? So let's get you on the line early. Okay, let's figure this out. We got a black man missing. Yes, we're claiming him. Black. Area code 202. Is that Kill Mo Lemonade? Yes, sir. How you doing? I'm great, man. Friday night, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to be sipping and silly, but I want to try and address what may be a very real uh, situation. What do you want to start? Well, I think it's serious, you know, but um, I want to um, ask you a question in regards to the, the black man, you know, accepting him as the term black, like you said, we're going to accept him. Well, as sir, I want you to stay on topic first. My audience doesn't want people calling in. Oh, that's your question. No, let's get on topic, sir. First and foremost, and then maybe you can ask me a question. It's not about me. Okay. Topics right there. Okay. Well, you know, yeah. So the whole thing, I agree. Um, that this is conspired. I mean, every time we see things that are suspicious, like uh, we just had a situation not that long ago. I don't remember who particularly it was, but it was another situation. Uh, oh no, it was the it was the um the cash app guy. The guy who I know he wasn't black. Sir, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I appreciate the donation. Are you up to speed on the topic, sir? I'm Not, up to speed. No. Okay, well, can you address no, up, the topic, please? You're, I don't know where you're going. Come on, man. What I'm saying, what I'm saying is, I was likening it to that because it's that same situation when people come up with an invention that's powerful, they end up missing. That's all I was saying. I was trying to liken it to that same situation. That, yeah, I believe that this is conspired. I believe that he was. I believe that it's it's, it's something behind this. I don't believe that okay. he just ended up missing. I believe I can fly. Okay, okay. So, sir, this man is a, a a real inventor. He's not just some guy who was you know sitting around in a fucking mud hut and eating a bowl of goddamn flies. This man, as they always want you to know, uh, Umbatu. I can't even say his name, sir, but. You know, he 30, 43 years of age. You know, he's been doing this for years. And the Associated Press here in America, more than likely the CIA is involved. You know, I mean, I've, I've even got a list of, of uh, black inventors here in America over, over the centuries. You know, can, can just put give me a little more information here. A little more information. Come on. Yeah, I mean, you know, this, this is what they do. They know they see they're more you they they have a greater understanding of who we are than we do. They don't want us to know. They don't want us to be united. They don't even want us to accept each other as us being one. Right. You know what I mean? Just because just because somebody went across the water, now, you know, they're Adolf and we're FDA over here. They they know who we are. They know our heritage. They know our lineage. They know our uh, history of success. You know what I mean? Yeah. They, they're 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 well aware and they're well and they're greatly familiar. I mean, the the, the creation of the touch screen technology is a black woman. Mm. Um, the I've spoken about all of that before, sir. I mean, I, I broke it down to you about the black woman who created the the GPS system. So so yeah. So not now now, <laughs> now we're talking here. We're talking. Do you think that they, they yeah. th that they killed him? I don't think they killed him. I think with his mind. I think that they ki kidnapped him, the CIA. They got him on an island some fucking where. They give him anything he wants, you know, food, whores, <laughs> but you can't leave the island. And they want they want him to to keep creating, to tap in to some type of frequency, so that yeah. he, so that he can he can do what Oppenheimer did, create something that can kill millions. Go ahead and finish up. Yeah, yeah, I agree because it's because when when you're tapping into great inventions to that extent, first of all, you're making people angry. Who, that I mean, um, let me let me let me clarify. You're making people angry because they're like, wait a minute, how did you even come up with this invention that can get in the way of oil, that can get in the way of all these you know other uh, 
this this way that we know things in life as we know it. Right. You're getting in the way of that, and you and you didn't let this channel through us. Got you. <laughs> so I thank you for your donation. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Yes, sir. <sighs> Folks, it's Friday. I I, I want to be you know kind of goofy and silly, you know, but. <laughs> Don't call in and, and, and work my nerve and push push my button. <laughs> Deeds, how is the audio and the, and the video? Are we okay? Are we okay? <laughs> okay. All right. Deeds says everything is good. Okay. Salute to Deeds. Deeds, are you tapping in tonight? Where's number nine? Salute to King Simon. King Simon, come on and tap in. Peace, peace. Let, let me let me send out the link. Hold on a second, goddamn. Let's. Let's, let's do this tonight. Where's the link so people can cam up? Let's get some random people to cam up. We had this system five years ago. This isn't new for me. I just wanted to stick with the formula that I've been using, that I know works, you know, just myself, you know. I bet on myself. But, you know, it's, it's a new year. I'm going to let other people cam up. Uh, Okay, uh, that should be the link right there where you guys can cam up. Let me see if I did that right. Uh, uh, no, okay. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Um, okay. Deeds, can you pin that link to the top or do I have to do that? Okay. Trevor, got your donation. Thank you so much. He says supporting the machine, OG. Trevor, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh... Okay, uh, Crown, thank you for your donation. Crown says, white supremacist snatched up the black man. I agree, the, the grafted man. <laughs> I'm half grafted man. If I, if I caught wind of an African inventing something that could tap into a frequency and other people didn't have to pay for shit that I'm taxing them for, oh, hell no. Lock him up. Lock up his family and every goddamn body until until we break him. Hold on a second, guys. Uh, let me go to every code. Uh, do, 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 do. Hold on, hold on. I'm moving too fast here. 917, it's Friday. Good evening. We're talking about a few topics. Are you up to speed, 917? Yes, no, maybe. Nine, yeah, one, I'm seven. no conspiracy theorist, but... The guy Salters that got murdered in a uh, Buffalo that was on, in the works of the uh, the engine that was hydrogen powered, right. he got murdered. Right. And now we got this guy who's trying to work on something that you know you don't need to recharge that could just be used to tap it to a frequency. Right. Something's up with him. So I'm not no conspiracy. Oh, he perfected it. Yes. Go ahead. He perfected it. Go ahead. Yeah, he perfected it. So there's definitely something up with every time the guy comes where there's something that, black black guy comes. Right. Well, there's something that could be manufactured, built, that could benefit people that's not going to charge everybody or, right. you know, that yeah. takes away money from the white white America. Right. That somehow they end up disappearing on some. That's weird. Yeah. Yeah. You have the floor. Go ahead. You have the floor. Well, uh, yeah, so I just want to talk about that. And I don't know if we're still talking about passport, uh, pors, passport bros being drugged in uh, Colombia, but um, we can continue to talk about the uh, guy well, no, creating the, well, uh, hang, the hang engine. On. Hang on. This story came out a couple of days ago. Uh, supposedly, passport bros are being uh, drugged, beaten, robbed, you don't like robbed in uh, Colombia. And any thoughts with regard, any knowledge? I don't know. I've never been to Colombia. Well, well, let's be real. I'll, I'll tell you one because I've been there and I've been in America. Let's, let's, let's be real. Cardi B was was drugging guys in America. I live in Miami, even though I'm from New York, but I live okay. in Miami. And guys have been drugged and, 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 and robbed in Miami daily. This is a regular thing. So this is nothing but Miami's putting this information out there to make the guys who go to Columbia who get women who basically want to be taken out and get peanuts. Mm. You know, they they want the same thing. Uh, they want less than what American women want. So where American women are trying to vilify them. And they're more agreeable. They want to go to Columbia. Keyword. They're more agree way more agreeable. agreeable. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. They agree. They agree with you for rice, beans and chicken. Yeah. And let me just correct you uh, real quick, sir. We don't know if Cardi B was robbing and drugging men. I know she said it, and I do know that in Las Vegas, it's called trick rolling, but I have no knowledge. I'm not trying to catch a, a fucking lawsuit, respectfully. You feel me? Yeah, I get you. Well, allegedly, that's what's happening, but it's a daily thing in, in, in the States. And now everybody's saying out this one instance in uh, Colombia that Facts. we hear about. 
Right. You know, it's like, oh, my God, Colombia, so they're robbing and drugging the passport bros. All right, we get it. But this happens every day in America. Yeah. It happens every day in New York. It happens every day in Miami. And I imagine it happens quite often in Vegas. So it happens once in, in Colombia. Big deal. Go, you know, sniff a little cocaine candy and have a good day. Yeah. Go, go shoot some skag between your toes. Pardon right. me. Go, go okay. shoot some skag between your toes in Colombia. Find yourself an agreeable woman and you'll live longer than staying here in America and marrying a fucking mammy that's going to uh, feed you fried food. food and you <laughs> there have, you go. And you'll have a fucking yeah. stroke and you get a, a Bell's palsy or some shit. Go ahead, finish up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, man. You, you get a mammy, you get it with diabetes, high blood pressure, oh probably God. two children in child support. Yeah, no, nah, I'm good. Right, I don't right. want any of that. <laughs> Thank you, man. I appreciate the call. Thank you. Thank you. All right. You have a good night. Thank you. So, okay. Supposedly, passport bros beware. Men traveling to Colombia for love are ending up drugged, robbed. This is uh, AtlantaBlackStar.com. The U.S. Embassy in Colombia has issued a warning. I, I think we pretty much, you know, any man in his right mind knows that if you go to a foreign land and, and you, you drink, uh, you know, or if you're not careful what you drink, you, you could wind up, you know, somewhere butt ass naked and violated, you know, but that shit happens here in the States on a regular basis. OK, guys, also hang on a second. Uh, showrunner, showrunner, showrunner. Um, anybody care about Eminem? He's got a, a new diss track. Man, he's taking shots at Benzino. So, salute to um Eminem. He, you know, he, he doesn't let it uh he doesn't let it die. The new track is called Doomsday Part Two. T takes a shot. Well, pardon me. He disses Benzino. He gives him bars. It's not just like you know, light bars. He gives him bars and then takes a shot at Coyle Ray. She's already responded. So talking about. Uh, old beef is washed and corny. Well, we're talking Eminem, baby girl. <laughs> and he's got your daddy's name in his mouth, okay? Terrence got your donation. Thank you for tapping in. Eminem's verse and Luca had 73 white boys cooking, mm, okay? Okay, let's go to every code. Um, it's just my nigga right here. 713 Friday night. We're talking about uh, a few topics. Are you there? Every code. My so, nigga. My nigga Houston. My nigga. Already was popping. Where you want to go with this? Hey, Houston. This Houston, it's Friday. I don't give a fuck. Let's go there, nigga. Okay. Let's go there. Hey, don't pass for a brother. They are banning the gay dudes, man. I don't give a damn what nobody talk about. Anybody that band together to go somewhere and knock down women, man, you got to, it, it got to be all of y'all. Like, damn, what happened to you be a player by yourself? But, you know, that's just my thoughts. And the dude that they got for the uh, the engine thing or whatever he created, man, they've been doing that to black people, no matter what you are. <laughs> if you go well, now, hang on a second. Let, 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 let's go back because it's not just, you know, uh, uh, passport bros going to foreign lands in groups. A lot of these guys, most of these guys, according to my research, go by themselves. They take the chance. They're going to look for an agreeable wife, not, not, not a slur or a whore. A slur is a combination of a slut and a whore. You can get that here in America. Yeah, I know that. I yeah. know that. Yeah. I'm a ghetto gynecologist. I know that part. Right. You know facts, what I'm saying? Facts. But I think they I think they just going overboard with it. I think when they do that extra, I think they looking for something more than a woman. I, I You know, that's just me. You know what I'm talking about? And then, like, they go... Well, who knows? And, and and truthfully, Houston, who cares? We have to look... Yeah, I don't care what they do. We they... have to look within. Hang on yeah. a second. We have to look within here in America and say, what is it that makes a man even want to take the risk to go look for an agreeable woman? What's what's wrong home? There's a lot wrong here. But go ahead and finish No, your... it's not wrong we're here. What's wrong with them? They want to go over there and live their fantasy out and then come back here. They can easily do whatever they're doing over there, over here. Because those people coming over here, you see the border crisis? Okay. Some people ain't over there. Okay. You get it? Like, that's how I think, but I don't know. They on their own thing. But as far as, like, the dude that's missing with the electric car, man, if you can use urine, everybody got to take a leak. 
you can use that. Man, these people don't want people to know that. Black <laughs> people have been getting killed about their inventions, dog. And all you got to do is collect. I, I'm going to Google those. I think it's Nigeria. Deeds, can I, hang on a second, Houston. Deeds, was it? Ni- hey, you know, they Ni- use- Nigerian girls that created that um, uh, generator. <laughs> was, was, was it 2013 or 2014? Go ahead and talk, Houston. You have the floor. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, I remember that they created something from uh, like a uh, urine or something with water. Like they did a whole lot of things over yeah. there. The girl that you remember, the girl that did that with water or something, and then one did it with urine. And then dog, I ain't gonna be. That's what I just said. Hang on a second. Here it is. Here it is. Hold on. Hold on. 2012. Yeah. 2012. African girls. Uh, P power generator raises questions. Go ahead. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I remember that. And then, you know, they I think they tried to buy it off from like through a scholarship or something, right? Right. Right. Or something like that. But they, they know that's a trillion dollar thing. I'm like, everybody got to take a leak, man. Yeah. So they just figured it out. Yeah. They got rid of them. I'm like, why not create a solar car instead of an electric car? Yeah. Then they're going to start blocking off the sun. This just had it. This had a white man does it, dog. They well, the Chinese have already created a sun. Chinese. We're going there they tonight. what? A sun. They created what? Go ahead and talk. I'll Google it. Go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead and talk. <laughs> okay. They say the Chinese have created a sun. <laughs> those, those some niggas, too. <laughs> you created a whole sun, though, y'all. <laughs> these people are stupid, dog. And then the people that had these electric cars, dog, I looked it up. They are charging people, dog, a full charge of electricity. You can go only a couple of miles. They they saying you can go 200 miles, but it's 40 miles less. You got to keep going. I'm like, why waste that on a car? I'm like, you might, if the lights go out, what you going to do with that car? You still got to buy gas, but we still in the same spot. Mm-hmm. I don't get it, man. And then they said they're char- charging higher taxes on people with electric vehicles. And then they said that. Just them putting up those TV stations, they're taxing us because they want to buy an electric car. I'm like, I ain't got no damn electric car. Like, why the hell I'm getting taxed for that? Y'all already charged me for gas. God damn. What we doing? You know what I'm talking about? They just, man, don't charge me for your experiments, man. All right, Houston, sit tight, sit tight, sir. China's artificial sun just broke a record. This is back in 2022, but the story goes back years. Uh, the sun, yeah. the, the artificial sun, uh, is a fusion reactor. It cost one Ooh. one trillion dollars. An artificial sun. Yeah. So so wow. so it's real. What's going on here? And now I want you to finish up. Take your time. Promote your platform as well because you go live on on a uh, on a regular basis. Um, d- do you think that the CIA or whoever, do you think the Mexicans, uh, supposedly Mexicans, uh, Mexican hitmen were trying to kill this man? Do you think he's been killed? Do you think he's been kidnapped? What do you think before you go, Houston? I think the Mexicans had something to do with it. I blame the Mexicans for everything besides niggas. Mm. I'm just saying. I think he's still alive, and then they're not going to kill him yet. I think he's still alive. They're trying to get as much as they can out of him to get the plans to it, because that's how they always do. This is what I tell people. No matter if you don't claim you black or American black or whatever, yeah. people are looking at your skin. They go to look at you as black. Mexicans, a lot of Mexicans and other people don't like black people anyway. Okay, But that's just something else. Houston, I appreciate the call, man. Thank you. Have a great Ready? night. Thank you, Houston. Okay, bet. Thank you. Good man, Houston tapping in. Is that Johnny too cool? Johnny, is that you? Yeah, what's up, star? Johnny, I want to bring you on the screen, man. Um, can you email me so I can bring you on the screen? Nah, man, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm drunk and high right now. I can't do that. Can't well, do that. well you, you're right always now. drunk and high. You're always trolling. I appreciate that. But come on, get on the screen, man. I'm sending out the the link. All right, send the link. No, send me an email. Do you have my email address so I can send the link back to you? 
Yeah, Africa Bambata, 1980. Right, right. I got yeah, it. Yeah, Africa Bambata, yada, yada. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got it. I got it. I'll send you a link. Okay, right I'll now, you- right now, right now. <laughs> well, he stays He stays with the Africa Bambata bullshit, don't he? <laughs> um, Friday night, folks. What a great day I had, huh? I want to get to the list here of... um. Black inventors. Hold on a second. Mm. Lost histories of African American inventors. Okay. Hmm. George Crumb uh, passed away in 1914. Initially developed potato chips in the 1850s for a restaurant. Okay. Black man invented potato chips, according to. Multiple reports here. Uh, Alfred uh, Crail uh, received U.S. received a U.S. patent in 1897 for an ice cream mold. You know the thing that you put in the the ice cream to then scoop it with the little thumb thing. Black man uh, invented that. Mark Dean, born in 1957, holds three of the nine patents for the original IBM personal computer. To let America tell that Steve Jobs is God. Mark Dean, born in 1957. For those who don't know, let me say this again. Holds three of the nine patents for the original IBM personal computer. Charles Drew, passed away in 1950, uh, created the uh, life-saving concept of large-scale blood banks. And uh, Lloyd Hall died in 1971, developed a method for combining sodium chloride with crystals of sodium nitrate and uh, to keep nitrogen in the air from spoiling food. It's Friday, goddamn, but we have we have to keep it real with each other, okay? Firestarter, I got your donation. Star, we want the nigga shit. Uh, okay, Nicki Minaj versus Megan the Stallion. Okay, now Firestarter, I'm up to speed, but now where are we? I heard um I heard Nikki. <laughs> she said, uh, something, something six foot. The bitch got a big foot. <laughs> Okay, let's go. Five star, call in, call in, go. <laughs> I had the Eminem. Okay, wait a second. Let me put this Eminem thing on the screen. Eminem taking shots at Coyle Ray, but he gave my nigga Benzino bars. Pow on the screen right now. Eminem disses Benzino on Doomsday Part Two. Thank you, Firestarter, for your donation. Okay, um, Sir Shy, I got your donation. Uh, okay, I don't know what's going on, Sir Shy. I, I listen, man. I watch channels that are, you know, putting out trending topics. I'm not really up to speed on who's beefing, what's going on, and why are they beefing. Uh, I, I don't know what's going on, Sir Shy. You want to call in, bring me up to speed? Okay, thank you for your donation. Uh, let me go back to the phone lines here. Uh, okay, okay, okay. I'm reloading the page. I'm working with an old system here where I'm bringing people on the screen. Let me just make sure everything is copacetic here because, okay. Uh, okay, number nine. Hold on, guys. Number nine wants the link to tap in. Give me a second. It's my guy. Check your email. Johnny Too Cool is not calling in. Johnny's scared. Okay. Um, hey, Sharon, I got your donation. Uh, no comments in progress. Oh, wait a minute. I just did something real stupid, guys. Hold on a second. I messed up the phone system. That's me. Give me a second. Okay, phone lines are back on. Pardon self, pardon self. 
Deeds, do you want to call in? Uh, okay, yeah, yes, yeah, I have that person on the list here, Deeds. Uh, Lonnie Johnson. <laughs> Lonnie Johnson uh, invented the super soaker water gun. Yeah, but I'm, I'm, I more so want to talk about people, Deeds, that have, like, you know, made, like, real contributions <laughs> to America, you know? <laughs> the super soaker is just nigga shit. Um, Andre, got your donation. Thank you for tapping in. Yeah, but now, again, you and Firestarter, is there really something there? Is there something there other than just Nikki's? We heard some type of little verse. What What else is there? I mean, hang on a second. I think this is Gene Richmond. Okay. He, he is. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Hello. I, hold on. Let me let me fix my, my settings. Hold on. Hold on. Number nine, can you hear me? Mm hmm Hey, man. <laughs> good to see you. Hey, good to see you. <laughs> Friday night, you. Thank, thank you for being available. And, and hello, miss. Uh, that's uh, that's wifey in the background. Yeah. Hello. hello. Hey, wifey. It's cracking. Hey, man. You know, enjoy. It's my birthday. R really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't uh, celebrate all, birthdays, you know that, but you know. Well, I know. Uh, okay. I, know. First first all, I just want, I just want to say the names that you listed off. It was actually West Indians, not FBA, that created this. It was West Indian blacks. Created West what? Because, because the guy I'm talking about is from Zimbabwe. Okay, I think it was West Indians, not FBA. Well, well, what in particular? I went down the list and, and mentioned a few things. What, what in particular? Which, which invention? No, I just heard you listing names. You know. Oh, okay. So you're just saying they're all they're all West Indian. <laughs> <laughs> it's, all, it's all West Indians, man. <laughs> okay, so I saw, um, I saw the Ben Shapiro video. He's rapping now. Dude, dude, I now, did you see that before I sent that to you? It just came no, out no, today. No, I, saw, I, saw, I saw earlier. On the Daily Wire, I saw it earlier. What is that? What is that? That's that's horrible, man. Well, you know, Ben, Sh ben Shapiro, in my opinion, has no credibility. Mm. I think he's controlled opposition. Okay. Um, you know, he does. You know, he's Israel first. He doesn't really speak for the America First movement. Um, so you know, he's getting into the you know commercial pop appeal. You know, he's. Let me tell you this: What platform is Ben Shapiro? Uh, banned on. Mm. Not good point. He's on Twitter. Good he's point. on Facebook. He's on all the platforms. But Alex Jones isn't. Right. 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 Alex Jones is it? Why is it you're, that? You're still riding with Alex Jones still after all these years. <laughs> he's a great man. Okay. He's a great man. You could learn a thing or two from. Alex. Uh, I, I I don't co-sign that, but uh, I hear you. Okay. You could learn. You could learn no, a thing. No, 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 I, I I can't. I, I can learn how to fucking lose lawsuits from Alex Jones. That's about it. Uh, let's go to um, Ben Shapiro and Tom McDonald. The, the the track is called Facts. Video just came out ten hours ago. It's already over a million uh, point one point five million views. What is this Correct. about? Well, Ben Shapiro, years ago, he came out with this moniker called Facts Over Feelings. Mm -hmm. If you follow Ben Shapiro, that, that was always his tagline, Facts Over Feelings. From so, time to time, but I, I, I don't, you know. Not, I like, not so, like you know, again, you know, Shapiro is just trying to stay as relevant as possible. He's not as conservative as you might want to think he is. Mm -hmm. He's very, Ben Shapiro is very liberal because a true conservative would care about the uh, mass immigration issue at the border. Right. He said he said it himself. That's not a, that's not a main topic of interest for him. He's mm -hmm. more concerned about the crisis in Israel. Right. He's more concerned about the, the the nation that actually created Hamas, and they won't tell you that it, the IDF and Israeli intelligence created uh, a counter to the PLO. Mm -hmm. Under Yasser Arafat. Now you want you now, watch your mouth. You watch your mouth. You know this. Okay. This is the Jew Network. <laughs> let me let me let me get this. Him. Pull it back in, or I'll get you up out of here. Let's I get it. Back. No, I get it. I get it. I get it. You must be paid for by Sheldon Adelson. 
You must get Sheldon Adelson money. That's right? a fact. That's a fact. <laughs> <laughs> you, you must now, get. Now, let's get back Adelson. to the topic. Hang on. Let's get back to the topic. Um, so, so the the inventor from Zimbabwe, I think he has like an eighth grade education. Um, he has created a few things. He's he's not just some some fluke. Um, uh, t- t- television sets that work without electricity. You know what we know as as uh, traditional electricity and electric cars that do not need recharging. The man is now missing. He was uh, poisoned uh, when he first came to the states here. What are your thoughts? I think it's another setup by the establishment. I think it's another setup by the establishment to take down a man who's actually done something, you know. But let me ask you this: Who runs all the major news outlets? Who runs the central banks? <laughs> who has major political powers? Uh, just asking. Who? Who? Right. Who? You, 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 you know the answer. You and I have these discuss these discussions. It's, it's I want to keep you on the screen. I want to keep you on the screen, but I will get you the fuck out of here. I know Make you will. I know you will. But I got a bone to pick with you. I got a bone okay, to pick with you. Listen, listen, let you and I talk behind the scenes. I'm staying on topic, man. Why be good to, to see you? She got something to say. Tell them what you got to say. Good to see you, wifey. <laughs> she got something to say. You know. <laughs> Taking care of a man like me. Tell him. Are you guys going out? Uh huh. You head out tonight. You're playing it safe. We're out. No, we, we, he's having dinner. We're having dinner for his birthday. Oh, you're out right now. Mm-hmm. Well, well, pan the phone around him and I. Pan the phone around. Show us where you are. Oh, there you go. Okay. You, you're doing it big Willie style, as always. <laughs> as always. Willie. Big pimping in the house. <laughs> All right. Hey, man, good to talk to you. Thank you for tapping in. Thank you. God bless you. God bless, God bless you. you too. Bye, wifey. Good night. All right. Okay, take care. Bye. All right. <laughs> it's my guy, number nine. <laughs> Let's get him out of here. <laughs> um, guys, sit tight on the phones. I want to reset the show here. Um. It is Friday and we're being a little silly, but this topic, um, I, I didn't want to let this get away before the week is out. A, 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 a inventor from Zimbabwe, uh, I don't know how to say his name, but I'm just going to say Umbatu. He was poisoned, uh, according to multiple reports, and now missing. If you guys are not up to speed, I may post a link a little bit later on um, after the show or <coughs> tomorrow. Uh, man, turns to come on inside of you. And uh, yeah, yeah, he, he's produced a lot of things. And as I said earlier, Associated Press and other platforms have denounced his invention, claiming that there's there's no proof. OK, anyway, um, Andre got your donation. Thank you for tapping. Hey, Star, I've owned a Tesla model uh, for a year now, and it's the best car I've ever driven. OK, Teslas are the best inventions Pardon me, investments for the electric franchise. Okay, I'm not disagreeing. I, I've never had a Tesla. I'm not going to say never. I never will. But I just, I, I, I don't know. I've seen lines for people to charge those vehicles. Correct me if I'm wrong, anybody. I've seen longer lines to, to charge an electric car than for people to get gas. Am I wrong, Andre? Thank you for your support, as always, sir. Uh, is it Noron? I got your donation. Thank you for tapping in. Are you calling in? Okay. Blade, Blade, I got your donation. Uh, Blade says, do, 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 do. hold on a second. Uh, welcome back, Boss Hog. Mm, you took a few days off, Star. Did you have a major investigation? Well, Blade, I'm I'm moving out of New Jersey. <laughs> End of February. Uh, and as you know, after I move within less than 30 days, people do get arrested. <laughs> Thank you for tapping in, Blade. Um, let's go to area code five eight six. Good evening. Five eight six. Are you up to speed on the topic? 
Can't hear you, sir. It's very loud in the background. Very loud in the background. We can't do that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me a second. Give me a second. In five, four, three, two. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm here. I'm yes, here. sir. I'm here. Good here. evening. How are you? Where are you going to start? Uh, man, I'm doing good, man. Uh, yeah, you know, um, uncommon information that you're 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 giving on the line tonight. Okay. About the uh, many um, inventing inventions and um, ideas that have been born out of the mind of uh, the so-called um, lower class. Mm -hmm. I try. Yeah. I, I try. Yeah. 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 So um I was I was in the middle of you called me, I was in the middle of doing my doing my Googles, but there's a there's a black man who since we're talking about major contributions, there was there was a black man who created the um the American uh, railway system. I've got an entire list here, sir, about nine pages. I didn't want to just like, you know, bombard people with it, but yes, uh many people of color, whether they be FBA or or Caribbean blacks or Africans have invented many things here in America. And, and there is a way that the government, um, you know, ha has found a way to not allow them to, to get credit for certain things. There's a lot of loopholes, if you will. So this guy uh, has been saying, and, and I'm butchering his name, Umbatu, he has been saying that he could not get a patent for this vehicle that does not need a charge. <laughs> He's been saying that. Go ahead. Okay. One of the, wasn't a, a allegedly uh uh one of the one of the, one of the victims of the what was that the Boston shooting? Mm. One of the one of the victims. You're uh, going there. Let's go. So You're going there. Let's so go. Just, Let's go. Just so happened to be a black man who created a uh what was it a hydro or H two O engine a water engine water engine yeah mm -hmm. yeah yeah yeah. Yeah. Maybe, 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 maybe everybody else was just, uh, you know, casualties, and he was the target allegedly. Well, yeah, well. Yeah. Any knowledge on the passport, yeah. bros, sir? Uh, reports are saying that they're being killed in uh, Colombia and other places. Do you think it's propaganda? I mean, what do you think? Yeah, I mean, it could be propaganda, but I mean, I wouldn't doubt it. You know, you got a bunch of. Uh, lames, a bunch of gameless guys, you know, uh, uh, simps, guys that's been hurt, um, you know, money taken from them, right. uh, dragged through court, yeah, um, pretty much been taken advantage of, uh, mm -hmm. you know, looking for healing, and 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 uh, and um, you know, so they're pretty much gameless, gullible, and clueless, and they're in a foreign country, and they think shit is sweet, and mm -hmm. it's not, yeah, you know, and uh, yeah, they, yeah, I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure they're getting picked off, you know. It's okay. Not far okay. Okay. Um. Um. Uh, serves, serves them right, and um, you know, fuck them. All right. I thank you for the call, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Friday night, and we're we're combing through this. Hold on a second, guys. Uh. I do want to make sure that I'm promoting my sponsors, folks. You, if you're a sponsor and you want to get on the screen, just shoot me an email. That's available to you. You don't have to join the conversation with regards to the topic. You can just cam up, promote your, your product, your services. Okay. Um, BLK, that's the dating app for black singles. BLK is the number one dating app and lifestyle app for the black community. Okay. Founded in 19, pardon me, founded in 2017 by Match Group. Over 10.5 million downloads and counting. BLK is the go-to app where black love is celebrated in all of its forms, okay? Check them out. Tell them I sent you. 626, you're up next. Sit tight, sit tight, okay? And I do want to also uh, make note to... Uh, hold on a second. Uh, Frederick... Jones died in 1961. This is a black man, okay? Developed the first reliable refrigerated truck and also refrigerated railroad cars to carry foods over long distances, okay? Mm. 
Uh, Joseph Lee died in 1905, worked on inventions related to bread making, included U.S. patent. OK, he got patents. Mm, large scale dough production as a labor saving device at bakeries. OK. Area code 626. Good evening. Uh, we're discussing a few topics. Are you there? Six two six. Hey, what up, Star? What up, Star? Am I audible? How are you, sir? What's cracking? Man, it's been a minute with CBR the ball that gave the Vex back and bond. It's good to it's good to hear from you again. Oh, Star, C- for real, for real. CBR, how are you, man? We haven't spoke since yep. you got in, you got jumped in Jacksonville. Are you okay? Yep, I got yep, I got packed out over in Jacksonville. You remember that? <laughs> yes, hey, sir. Do, yes, sir. Do you want to get on the yeah. screen? Hey, do you want to get on the screen? Come on, cam up. Man. Nah, I don't do. I'll do the screens, man. I'll do cameras, man. And you already know. I'm still. I'm still on the hopeless tip. I'm over here outside of outside of uh the back of one of these uh what's it called, um, know. you know, one of the um remolding situations they got over here down in Florida. Okay. So it's Tampa. You know, it's Tampa. It's Tampa Bay. Out of in right now. Currently, it's Royal Rumble weekend. Mm-hmm. I just got done uh doing a video about Vince McMahon's situation with the SA allegations. You know what I'm saying? And the rock taking over and all that so yeah i just i just got through a video on that well hang on a second so you you got as you said packed out in jacksonville about a month or so ago they put you in the hospital straight up and and they straight up you didn't leave town you you said nah i got business here fuck that i ain't gonna know hell no hell no i left town man this dude so i got better over the fuck over at uh, west palm beach man Okay. Come on now, you don't remember that? Epi- you don't remember? Well, of course, I don't, I don't you know, yeah. There was a, there was a, yeah, there, there, there was an episode. You, uh, Florida Boy J, and ourselves talked about this and talked about Eighth Street over there in Jackassville okay, and why that situation you. occurred. I forgot, yeah, yeah, I we we already you. been down this road. Okay, yeah, we've been down this road. Okay, but uh, yeah. So, so I just got done with the episode talking about the Vince McMahon situation on my channel. But I wanted to chime in on this uh, Eminem verse and also on the Passport Bro situation. Um, mm-hmm. The Eminem verse, of course, cold as ever. You already know. I've called, I've called him multiple times in the past to support him. Uh, top tier MC. Um, definitely number one when it comes down to any top five. But, you know, it was dope. You know, you got the jokes. This is like, you know, like Kill Shot or Nell in the Coffin, you know, any of, or Hail Mary, any of the diss tracks that Eminem ever comes out with, Go to Sleep, uh, you know what I mean? Countless diss tracks. They're always great. You know what I mean? I, I enjoy- Hang on a second, Sevier. I have to ask, um, do, do we really, do we really respect Eminem going in balls deep on Benzino? Or, or, or was he just, I do. was he just bored? Because he gave him bars. It wasn't just, one or two lines. He gave Benzino bars, and then he took a shot at Coyle Ray. Now, Coyle Ray already <laughs> well, responded. That's... Hang on, hang on. Oh, what? Coyle Ray already responded and said, old beef is washed or something like that. But now, why why Benzino in 2004? He, he's as cold as a cucumber. <laughs> I love it. Now, I know you cool with Benzino, you know what I mean? But like, yeah, yo, but that like... ain't got shit to do with what I do right now. Why did Eminem right. give bars to Benzino just, just for shits and giggles? Come on. I, I really do believe so because it was jokes. I mean, he even brought up the forever line, like who had the second best verse on forever. I'm like, Kanye, but just right. the, way, the way that he said it, right. like it, it's a bunch of like old news and you got to think about it. The instrumental is a reworking of role models. And you got to think the people that were on this track originally uh, are big Eminem stands, Corday and Juice World. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So with all that, this is like this is like a throwback. So of course, a throwback beef like Benzino, this would be perfect to talk about on a reworking of role model. You're getting all these eras of M at once. You're getting 1999 Eminem because of the Slim Shady LP's role model single. You're getting new Eminem today. And then you're all, you know, the 50 plus year old Eminem. Then you're getting, uh, what is it? You're getting, um, you know, Benzino beef Eminem. That's 03 Eminem, the Eminem show. Okay. And then you're also getting, uh, 09 Eminem because he brings up forever. So you're getting relapsed Eminem. Of course, it's going to be a little zany and wonky. So there you go. You're getting all these errors of M in less than two. I years. heard Eminem say, uh, before he started spitting the bars on the track, he said a little under the weather. Might he might he be back on uh, the 
back on the prescription drugs. I heard him say he said a little bit. <laughs> they hated Mrs. Nothing. <laughs> nah, man, nah. Don't don't wish that on him. Don't wish that on him, man. He, he, he's a, he's did, a, did he pop up a perk 30 before he spit the bars at Benzina? <laughs> nah, man. M ain't back to popping pills, homie. Nah, I, I don't know, dude. But he ain't back to that, man. He okay. got the sobriety chip. Okay. Yeah, but as okay. for the passport bros thing, I have my passport. And these goofballs over here, like, going over to Columbia and all that, messing up the game. Um, I heard, you know, on CGA's show about this and in various other channels on the Black Manosphere about these goofballs, you know, just tainting everything. And it's just like, yo, like, don't go to the country if you don't speak the language. Mm. Straight up. But who is CVA? I don't know that name. Who is CVA? CVA, Coach Greg Adams. Okay. Free okay. agent lifestyle. Yeah, got yeah, yeah. You. Got yeah, you. don't go to the country. Don't go to the country if you're not going to spend money over there either when it comes down to, um, you know, act, you know, sexual acts with females. Because, hell, you like, in the States, you got to do that too to an extent. You know what I mean? Everybody pays some way. You see what I'm saying? So it, it's just goofy that these, I mean, you know, the Columbia situation, you have a Colombian prostitute getting beat up for less than $200. That's ridiculous. Over here in the States, prostitutes that are, like, around my age in their 20s and stuff like that, like, they cost, like, 300 or up. How are you doing this? To, like, how are these 50-plus-year-old men doing this to some $200 prostitute in Colombia? That was disgusting. That was just sad. Like, if you're going to play the game, play They're it. They're probably down there chasing ni niggas with dicks, to be honest with you. But listen, CVR, great to hear <laughs> from you. Great to hear from you. I got to slide off, man. Um, I want you to cam Word, up. I want you to cam up soon, man. Keep me posted, all right? Nah, I never put my face on camera. Be okay. easy, right. star. Be easy. All right. CBR tapping in. Gemstar, I got your donation. Thank you so much. Gemstar says number nine once said, when the lights go out, a mouth is just a mouth. And after seeing him go live on camera, I can see <laughs> that he's really living his raps. <laughs> Thank you, Gemstar, for your donation. Uh, CVR. Okay, no, pardon me. Hold on. Sir Shy sends a donation. Star, CVR almost ended up like uh, Cochise from Cooley High. Wow. Classic film. Thank you, Sir Shy, for your donation. Area code 44. Sit tight. You're up next. 44. Okay. Folks, I'm bringing people on the screen tonight. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. I'll let you speak. Okay, I'm not going to black out anybody. It's, it's Friday, you know. Send us an email, and we'll, and I'll send you the link to cam up. Uh, but let me just also promote jenniferjonescollection.com. Guys, I'm still giving out, um, well, 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 now we're giving 30-day promotion if you spend $100 with Jennifer Jones Collection. Okay, 30 days promotion here on the Star Report. Send us a screenshot of your purchase to Jennifer Jones Collection. Okay. And um, did I promote MikaraBeauty.com yet? Okay. Area code 484. Good evening. Friday night. You up to speed on hey. the topics? 484? Yes, I am. Hey, Star. Good evening. Hey. Samisa. How you doing tonight? Hey, it's Friday. Good, good to hear from you. What's cracking? What's shaking? You too. I'm good. Chilling. Busy day. Off day. Running around. But I'm chilling and I'm okay. tapping in. How you doing? <laughs> I'm, I'm great. I'm great. I'm, I'm concerned about this African um, who's now missing, according to multiple reports. He uh, invented uh, an electric car. Uh, that, yeah. that, that doesn't require recharging. He's invented other things. Uh, he's from Zimbabwe originally. Uh, he has tapped into some type of uh, frequency. He's tapped in and now he's missing. Mm -hmm. Are you up to speed? Any thoughts? This is crazy. First of all, let me just say how great, how talented, how brilliant, and awesome we are as African, Black, brown skin, melanated people, all shapes, shades, and sizes. We are so dope. It's um, so unfortunate that this has happened to him. Um, I'm just hearing about it just tapping into the show. But, man, it's just a shame that a lot of, I can't even say just people in general, but other groups or races or just people who are just ignorant and have hatred towards us don't see our talent and our worth. And they do things behind the scenes that don't allow us to be great. 
and they steal from us. So it's just like, it's just sad. I don't know the whole story I'm tapping in, but it's just sad. It just breaks my heart because we're so dope and we're so intelligent that what we bring to the table can shed light and help the world. So I just don't get it. Where is this hate energy? Like, I don't know. I don't like it. Can I jump in? Can I jump in? Sure. I listened to everything you just said. Every, mm -hmm. Everything. Everything. Mm -hmm. Now, it's very easy to blame other cultures and another race. But now we're talking about Africans. Okay. Not, not, mm -hmm. not, mm -hmm. founda not foundational black Americans. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The African is cold. The African is the, the original traitor. Yes. Yes. Do you yes. think that another African or Africans sold him out the same way they mm. so, sold out slaves once upon a time that went all throughout uh, the, the South America and the, the Caribbeans and not even a million slaves made it to mm -hmm. uh, North America. For those who don't know, not even 500,000 slaves made it to North America. But do you think that the African or other Africans sold this man out? He came to America, and I have to get more details. You have got the notes. I'm just I'm sipping. He was poisoned. Yeah, he was poisoned. Do you think one of his fellow Africans slipped him a, a fucking uh, some 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 tea with uh, lemon and and ginger and put a little piece of cyanide <laughs> in there? I mean, it's very much possible. We hate on our for fifty racks. They can hate on each other as well. It's for just bad. So yeah. I mean, damn, did we have to go there? I mean. Yeah, it's very much possible. Nothing surprises me anymore. And it's so that's sad too. But yeah. man, what's going on in the world? I mean, I shouldn't be surprised, but I feel more saddened than anything. I but yes, it's a it's it could be a very much po a possibility. I wouldn't put anything past anybody. So yeah, yeah, very much possible. Um, can I ask you about some tea? It's Friday night. Um now now Nikki, she's got she's got, got some Nikki Minaj. Some type of track yeah. she was working on. I heard her laughing. I just heard the audio. And she says something yeah. about Megan the Stallion, a uh, uh, six foot. Bitch got a big foot. So she's coming. I heard for me I heard the bar. I heard the bar. And I was like, well, damn. She's coming with, okay. Well, okay, Nikki. So I don't, I mean, I just heard Megan's <laughs> song tonight, too. I got I to gotta rewind that back story. Something I got to repeat one more time. I got to replay it. But um, yeah, I seen Nikki's Nikki's post. I don't, uh, I don't well, well, hang on, I keep... hang on. Let's take our time. Okay. Why are they okay. Why are they beefing? Because they did a track together. Uh, was it two and a half years ago? They right? How, when was that? They did a track together. Uh, what was that hot girl summer song or something? It was pretty dope. Yeah. I don't. What know. What happened since then? I'll Google. I'm not sure, but hey. Listen, let's get back to the days where it's bar for bar, this for this. I mean, isn't that how rap was put about? I mean, from battle rap to just you say something, I diss back, you clap back. I mean, I like to see it. I'm here for it. <laughs> how, how you feel about it? Hang on a second. Uh, I'm trying to find. That's what real rappers do, right? Okay. You go bar for bar. Well, well, I mean, it's different now. You, let's not talk about that old shit because back in the days it was, you know, Bobby, <laughs> Bobby, you know, dang, dang, dig, dig. No, we we talking about now, you know, niggas on perk, perk tens and perk thirties, and they pull up with the stick. Okay, so yes, Hot Girl Summer. When did that come out? When did that come out? Let's let's do the research. Wasn't here. it two, three years ago? Baby, I'm asking you. I don't know. Roundabout. I mean, I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm in the entertainment world. Where I tap in to see what's going on in these streets. <laughs> I got to get out of my cases and get into the, you know, the social media. Song. But yeah, I'm the star. I'm here for it. Like I said, I'm here for the smoke. I'm here for the bars and the diss. And I, I like to see it. They're both talented. I mean, let's go. I mean, why not? It only can help, not hurt, right? Okay, baby, if anything, baby, it brings baby, more baby, 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 hang, hang on. Okay, Hot Girl Summer, 2019. <laughs> 2019. Right? Okay. Okay. Now, what happened since then? That's my question. I said I'm, I want the tea. What happened? Why are they beefing? Got you. I don't remember what happened specifically with um Megan and Nikki's beef because I only really know too, so much about um Nikki's and Cardi's beef. So I'm I gotta go back, Star. To be honest, girl, I gotta girl, go back. Girl, 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 we don't we don't want to hear about Nikki and Cardi. Cardi only got one. I know. One I album. know. <laughs> 
<laughs> I got you. <laughs> I got you. Yeah, but I'm here for it. I'm here for all the smoke. Okay, but you don't you don't have the tea. Just right? I don't. Okay. I don't got the tea tonight. Okay. Thank you, Dong. Thank you. Talk to you soon. Thank you. Let's get her up out of here. I don't need all that giggling. I, I need to know what happened. Troll babies, what happened? Can somebody call him with the T? What happened since 2019? It's up right now. N Nikki talking about uh, uh, the bitch is six foot. She got a big foot. I don't want to have to keep putting the pressure on Deeds. Deeds, do you want to tap in? What happened? Sir Shy got your donation. Uh, he says, Lucani sold out that Zub Zimbabwe man uh, for chimp steaks. For chimp steaks. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, uh, folks, we, no one cares about a white um, Miss Japan right now. We, we're focused on some other shit. Thank you, but, you know, come on, don't try and take us off, uh, off course here. Newt says, electric cars, we can't even fix FBJ's watch. What the fuck are we talking about? <laughs> Oh my goodness. Uh did I bring you in yet? 757. Hang on a second, guys. 757. Good evening. Sit tight. Sit tight. Tony D got your donation. Mm. O'Fay captured him and is experimenting on him. Okay. How did O'Fay capture the uh Zimbabwe inventor. Was his information sold? Was one of his Zimbabwe brothers, you know, working with uh, uh, the CIA or, or Ofe? <laughs> the African is cold blooded. Uh, Okay, I'll get back to that person. Area code 757. Good evening. Friday night. Are you at the speed on the topics? 757. Yes, no, maybe. Okay. Got to get you out of there. Come on. What are you doing? Goodbye. Folks, please don't call me on a speakerphone like, like you got it popping and we're just supposed to wait for you to pick up. Fuck out of here. 310. Good evening. Are you there? Area code 310. Star, hey. Luke Kenny here. I, Kenny. I heard niggas calling my name. Yeah, you're lit. You're lit. Yes, yeah, so they. Now I don't. I don't ever want to like you know be disrespectful towards you. You're a good sport, but you know they always got something slick to say about you know chimpanzees, steaks, uh, 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 z zebra, hot dogs, just crazy shit. You take it in stride, right? They do. They do, star, and I appreciate it. Okay, you know. Do you I appreciate start? it very much. Where do you want to start, man? Yes, sir. So I, I was, I, I was really just calling to, 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 to one of the topics I saw earlier. I was driving, so I'm not up to speed, but okay. Passport bros, right? Right. Something about. Passport? Were you driving a rhino or a giraffe? <laughs> <laughs> a ram. I was driving a ram. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just. I'm out there. Come on, come on. <laughs> it's, it's, it's all good, Star. Yeah, yeah. Come on, come on. You got the floor. Whew. Um, passport bros, right? Got got robbed or something? Well, there, there's reports that the passport bros are catching hell down in uh, Colombia. Yeah, <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah. You know, like for me, like I I spoke about this before. You okay. know, like. Different, different different days about the uh, passport bros you know it's like it's like to me it's like the risk is too high okay you know what I'm saying? like 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 the risk is too high i'm gonna i'm gonna catch a plane go somewhere that's kind of a third world country no disrespect okay and try try to do what get a wife get a girlfriend really okay it doesn't to to me it doesn't make 
economical sense, it, even if you're a trick, it doesn't, like, the risk is too high. So, look, I, I speak multiple languages, right? Okay. But one thing I'm not going to do is go to a country where I speak the language, I understand the slang, and go in the worst part to find some booty. Mm-hmm. It, doesn't, it doesn't make sense. Can I respond to what you just said, Luke Caney? And I appreciate you. And for those who don't know, uh, Luke Caney is a regular caller, uh, born and raised in the Congo for the most part, and then you came to California, yes? Yes, indeed. Yes, yes. Now, you, coming from the Congo, with all due respect, you have upgraded here in America. You know, shit was brutal there. So. Shit was brutal there for centuries. I've spoken on multiple occasions about King Leopold II and so on and so forth. Um, but now for an American black man, if you will, to, to go to Colombia or some other place in Venezuela to get himself a, a woman who, who, who doesn't really wear shoes and she will, you know, she will cook and clean. Um, it might be worth the risk as opposed to Marrying a fucking mammy here <laughs> who you already know she's going to be up on the gram uh, as soon as as soon as you turn your back the bitches on TikTok the bitches deep throating cucumbers for fucking donations and then she's going to get a bright idea after she pushes out your baby talking about I want to start her OnlyFans page and it's not that you're insecure but it's just like well bitch why did I wife you? I'm looking for something special. I don't want to share you, bitch. Does that make sense or no? It makes sense, right? It make it make it makes total sense. You're right. Yeah. I came to America. I upgraded. Upgraded for sure. Yeah. For sure, right? But what I would say to that store, that's why there are some, you know, high paid. Highly paid, highly trained, highly freaky women in America Mm -hmm. to satisfy your lust, Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, they're called prostitutes and escorts. What did you say, sir? They're called prostitutes and escorts. Yes, yes, sir, they are, right? And, 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 and 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 they're here to 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 do strange things. For some change. Okay. Okay. I got you. I got you. All hey, right. uh, Luke Caney, uh, so, not that you have to. Rory is on the line. He wants to ask you something. You want to talk to Rory or no? You, <laughs> you don't have to. You don't have to. You know what? Uh, Ro- Rory, he's all right. Okay. I'll talk to him. All right. I want, talk I want Rory to cam up. Uh, Rory, are you I'll there? Talk. Are you there, Rory? Yo, Star, what up? Yo, how you feeling? Hey, do you want to get on the screen with me, Rory, or is that not your thing? Want to cam up? <laughs> yeah, we could do that. Yeah, we could do that. We got, but let me, talk, let me as I ask you, Ken, let me talk to you, Ken. He's right say, there. Cool? He's right there. Go ahead. He's right there. Yo, Luke, it was good. Yo, listen, What's you think there's just some, um, you think there's just some black or white hate from Africa because Elon Musk is the one, you know, running the electric cars, so you know, Africa kind of feels like, um, you know, they don't feel good about that because the black man ain't, ain't, ain't the one who really invented the electric car. You know, everybody knows that, man, you know. Okay. It's all good. It's all, it's, it's really all good, Rory. Look, I'm from Congo, bro. No, I'm saying you think I it's some racism? I... You think it's like some racism? Well, listen, listen, I'm from Congo, right? I don't care about what's going on. Yeah, you from Congo. Any, any other African country. I don't care. Right? I don't care what's Just going on. Congo. Hey, that's it. That's it. Right? Now, All right, yo. So, yo, I got a question about the Congo. Yo, let me respond Congo, to your question, though. Okay. Listen, Rory, Rory, I don't want to go too far off track here. We're talking about the uh, the, the guy from Zimbabwe who invented a, a an electric car that doesn't need a charge. I don't want to go into... Uh, the Serengeti and the Congo. Just you, you and uh, Luke Kenny. No, I ain't up. doing that. Finish up. Finish up. What? Finish up. What? So, to finish up, but to answer your question, Rory, I don't care. I don't know. 
However, Africans, for the most part, are mystified by the white man. Oh shit! Mm. You did. You did. So, 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 yeah, so for 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 a lot of Africans, Elon Musk is African mm. because he got some South African roots, right? Exactly. Right. Can he talk in that talk? He's African. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. He's African. He's the African. Yeah, richest man in the world is African. Listen, he has South African roots. That's it. I'm out. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Luke. Yo, Luke Caney. How long do your family. Okay, hang on a second, Rory. Hold on a second, Luke Caney. Luke Caney was a very Yo, good. Hey, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> Lucani was a very good sport. You want to cam up on the screen, Rory? Yeah. Check I don't it. know you want me to get the look. They, they want to Live see you. Chat want me to cam they up want on to the see you. Check your email. I sent you the link. Oh, they got to donate, man. They got to get the donations up. They want to see me, man. You know what I'm saying? They got to get the donations up. <laughs> Okay, what do you want? Yo, Luke, yo, Luke. Lucani. has gone. What? He's gone. lucani has gone. What do you want to cam up? I, I really wanted to know how long they, they brine the vulture before they cook it. I really <laughs> wanted to know that. I wanted to know what kind of season is they use to brine the vulture on Thanksgiving in, in the Congo. You know, but I guess you right, right, have right. to go. Are you camming up or not, man? If not, good to talk to you. I appreciate you, man. <laughs> Yo, why, why you hating on me? Why, yo, they gotta get their donations of stuff. Okay. They want me to care about the stuff. They're in the stuff, live man. chat. They're saying what? Do, cheap as hell. They're saying what do you want? They're saying well, what do you want? They're they're talking to you. I'm supposed to give the people what they want, right? Friday night, Friday night, man. Come on, cam up. I just sent you the link. Check your email. Night, Check your man. email. All right, cool, cool. Let me okay. See about you. All right, cam up. Come on, hit hit me uh, behind the stage, whatever you call that thing, man. Salute. Thank you, Rory. Okay. Sheesh. Um, Paulie, which Paulie is that? I got your donation. Thank you for tapping in. Okay. Uh, I want to stay on topic, Paulie. I appreciate you, sir. But I, I just listen. Uh, there's nothing I can't talk about from the past. I've never been fined by the FCC. I've never been found liable. I've never paid anybody anything. Even if I did, which I didn't, nobody cares. This is the, the Star Report. Always forward, never backwards. Trending news, man. I Thank you for the donation, but I mean, just come on. That, that's not what we do here. That's not what we do. Um, Code Red, I got your donation. Code Red says uh, Star Nicki Minaj. Uh, what is it? Um, Megan told Nikki to abort her baby on live and get drunk while Nikki husband was in the next room. What? That started the beef. Okay, according to Complex, Megan the Stallion responds to rumor she. Okay, that's a rumor that she told Nikki to drink during pregnancy and get an abortion. Megan says, uh, okay, Megan denied that. It's probably a troll. And, and then Nikki respond to the troll. <laughs> okay, during a recent episode of the Queen Radio Show. Okay, this article is from uh, 2022. For those who, you know, need to be precise. Um, following the episode, the fan base began to speculate who the person might be. Okay, so it may have been Megan under an unnamed account. And is Megan now trying to act like it wasn't her, but in reality it was? I don't know. Who shall? This is messy. Now, what would have sparked that? See, that's my question. I need detail. Was it something with the song? Something with a verse was it the video shoot what was it something something upstage somebody in the video what happened nikki's quick with the bullshit nikki clapped that up um 
Kanye, very nice. What was it, like two months ago? Uh, Kanye wanted Nikki to uh, give him a release. That this was back when Nikki released uh, Pink Friday Two. Nikki got up on the camera and said, "Chow, that train has left the station." <laughs> Why would I release, sign a release for a song when I drop my album? Whoo! Thank you, Code Red. Salute. Okay, that's a little insight with regards to what the so-called beef is about. Okay. Thank you, Deeds. I got Deeds email. Lucaney tapped in. Thank you, Lucaney. Let's go to area code. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's go to area code 267. Good evening. Friday night, you up to speed. Two, six, seven. Yo, what's up, Star? How you doing? I'm good, sir. How about yourself? I'm doing good, doing good. I, I was listening to you when you hearing about the topic with the passport bros. Yeah. Are, are they getting laid down? Are they getting robbed, beaten uh, down in Columbia? A couple of reports are saying this. Listen, um, the way I look at it is, just because you try to leave the country don't mean the game change. Okay. If okay. you're from Fort Greene Projects, you don't take your ass over there to Farragut Ooh. thinking you're going to get something different. Let's go. When you coming from America and you're going to a different country um, and you're trying to play these games, you still need to know there's people out there that's watching every move that you're making okay. and everything that you're doing. Right. Right. Um, you need to be wise. You need to be smart. But you got to understand, in the history of the world, there's wars that have been fought over pussy. Right. Right. So when you out in another country and you trying to take advantage of other people, women, there's going to be a war fought with you. Okay. It's a, it's a dangerous thing to do when you trying to just run around, sleep with women, not take care of them, and go back home. It's not going to slide like that when people watching what you're doing. Hmm. Are you yourself? You are, are you yourself a traveler, uh, a passport bro, or that's not your thing? I'm just asking. Nah, that's not my thing. That's not my thing. Mm -hmm. I'm a from I'm I'm from America. I'm all nigga. Um, I can get my <laughs> in here in America. I got my own wife. I got my own kids. I'm not trying to go over the country because I'm I'm not a weak motherfucker. Okay. I grew up here. I'm gonna live here, and I'm have my family here. You know, that debate um, between, b between uh, you know, does a man need to go abroad or, or can he stay here and deal with, you know, a certain type of woman? That's a very intense debate, discussion, if you will. Um, so you're saying, nah, I'm, I, I can handle whatever right here. I don't need to get up on a plane and, and, and go, you know, uh, and go wife nothing that any nigga could have for a fucking uh, uh, a bowl of rice and a piece of fish. That ain't what I want. Nah, if, if you out there looking for something that you can take an advantage of, mm -hmm. um, that's never a good thing. Okay. That's never a good thing. You're not, you're not even starting off the conversation in the right direction. Okay. Uh, you're supposed to be looking for somebody that match your energy, uh, that match what you're looking for. Um, and just because somebody is, uh, I would say, has disadvantages or less advantage that you have and you can go over there and you might have a little bit of uh, money doesn't mean that the connection is going to be there they just looking at you the same way a girl would look at you over here if you had a benz or if you had a lexus or if you had you know a bentley um you might not have that much money but you over there and in their eyes you might be a star when you come back over here, you're a regular dude. You sound like a knowledgeable man. Can I just throw something at you? Not that you have to agree with me. Okay, so yeah. su suppose there's a guy here in the States. He's not the sharpest knife in the drawer. You know, he, yep. he, he he's a bus driver. He's a sanitation. I mean, those are great jobs. Let's not get it fucked up. Yes, those, sir. those are union jobs. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you, you, you don't really have a, a, an understanding of science, philosophy, religion, politics. You just want a woman to, to cook, you know, five days a week, six days a week, mm -hmm. wash the clothes, cl clean, yes, cl clean up my mess, and bitch, close your mouth. Yep. Close your mouth, bitch. 
I don't want to put hands on you. I ain't really that type, but just close your mouth. I'll, I'll, I'll pay for everything else, but close, close the hole in your fucking face. Is there anything wrong with that man going abroad to find the type of woman who will come back here, close her mouth, and be grateful to have that type of skill? You can find that. You can find that here, Star. You can find that here. No, sir. No, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. You can find that here, bro. No, sir. No, sir. You Sir, sir, let me let me I'm, just, I'm let, a, let me finish up and I'll I'll give you the last word. Your last word. No, sir. You're just looking in the wrong. Sir, sir, can I can I speak? I'll let you finish. Let me speak. Yeah, go ahead. Once upon a time, you had that type of quality woman. Now, as early as eleven years old, these hoes is thinking about OnlyFans. That they, they thinking about pee popping, dipping it low up on TikTok. They're different now, sir. You ain't going to find nothing from here to West Bubblefuck, Missouri that wants to play her position. All these bitches want to be want to be up, up, uh, up on uh, the, the gram. They want to be IG models. So so again, I beg, I, I, I beg the difference. OK, good. Finish up. You have the floor. Good. Because. Um, I'm a, I'm a walking example. I'm I'm from New York. I'm from Brooklyn. I'm from Fort Wayne Project. Okay. I was born and raised in New York, Brooklyn Hospital. Okay. Um, I moved down to South Carolina. Uh, my wifey now is from the country. Uh, they still live by those old country values down there. When I go down there, aunts, uncles, nieces, they still have that heritage in them, where they take care of a man. They cook, no questions. When I say I'm leaving the house, it's not where you're going, baby. It's I'll see you later. Be, be safe and take care of yourself. And then I'll see you later when I get back home. Um, y'all looking in the wrong place, bro. There's a lot of women still out here that tell, that still hold those old traditions and those old values. Um, in the city, maybe not. Okay. Maybe less. Okay. But don't don't get don't get him twisted when when you think that all of these women is gone now nah, the grandmamas are still around okay the great grandmamas are still around um our real real black culture is still around don't don't lose sight of that and don't fall for the biscuit <laughs> i appreciate the call man thank you no problem thank, thank you. you okay okay i let the man speak Getting the last word as I do. Folks, if you're new to the show, whether I agree with you or not, I always give my callers the last word, especially if they spend a little scrilla, you know. Passport bros, according to multiple reports, being drugged, robbed in Colombia, huh? Or they're going down there looking for something a little extra, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Rory, I got your donation. Rory, are you are you coming up? I sent you the link, Rory. I sent you the link. Okay, it doesn't want to doesn't want to get on the screen. Pardon me. Uh, mm. Thank you, Blade. Yes, Blade. I will get to that particular place. I I can't go right now. I. I, I, I got uh, a family situation that I'm dealing with with my uncle uh, who's up in Rome, New York, you know. Um, but um, I do plan to get to that place that you referenced. Blade, thank you so much. Um, the commissioner, thank you for tapping in, sir. He says, passport bros do it for superiority, not only for sex. That's a fact. Yeah. Yeah. Bitch, I'm made in the image of God. You, bitch, you're walking on marble floors. B bitch, you're driving a brand new C-Class. Bitch, you got money in the bank. Bitch, I'm taking care of that little fucking uh, 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 crumb snatcher that somebody else put up in you and then left you. Play your position. Let's go to area code eight four five. Um, good evening. Are you there? Friday night eight four five. Star, what's up? Friday night, everybody. What's up, Star? What's going on? Um, yes, good sir. topics, man. I'm gonna just touch on all three of them real quick. As Thank far as you. like the passport bros, 
like you said, I used to work with a bunch of guys, a city job. They go on vacation, 15 and 60 of them, Columbia, DR, they want to. And, and, and once you get a certain age, I feel, this is just my opinion, vagina's nothing to brag about. It's the easiest thing in the world to get these days. Maybe when you were 12, 13, 14, yeah. Right. But if you got to go overseas to to fornicate and do things with women, to each his own, but they deserve to get drugged. Mm. And, and and they should keep getting drugged. If you, if, if, if game is, like the last caller said, game is everywhere. If you're going to go out there, do whatever you do with the women and you look like you got money and you're this and that. If you get drugged, you get drugged. Um, mm. As far as the, um, the uh, what was the other topic? The people, with the, 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 the inventions with the cars. Um, my suggestion The is, guy from Zimbabwe, uh, Umbatu. Yes. That's, that's not how you say his name. I'm just, you know. But but uh, this this guy has been a inventor for years. He, he, he built uh, TV sets that run off of uh, frequencies. They don't need, you know, quote unquote electricity. Um, he's invented a lot of things and um, he's now missing. He came to the States here. <laughs> yeah, came to the States and he got poisoned. Um, and, 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 and it's real, man. I mean, uh, I, we've, we've gone down the list of other inventors, black inventors, if you will, that have been uh, beaten out of their inventions, couldn't get uh, patents for certain things. Um, uh, the black guy who just invented the the, the machine that that produces water, uh, uh, you know, um, they've been destroying his machines in Chicago and urban areas. So, what do you think? Do you think that uh, the government is behind this, or do you think somebody sold him out, or what do you think? Well, look up. Well, to me, the government controls everything, and it's definitely people got to understand. If you don't understand, you do. If you do, you don't. The government could care less about people and their simple lives. Anything that disturbs their bottom line, you will get snuffed out. So, if you came up with a car that could run off water, they're going to take you out. It's yeah. too. It's it's too much of you disturbing the ecosystem. Yeah, you can right. discover the street light. You can make an invention. But that's something, first off, you would become the richest person in the world. Yeah. Second off, you'd be disturbing too many industries. So it's like if you could go to the store and find a special fruit punch that you can mix with sugar, sniff and get high like it's cocaine, mm. somebody's going to take you out for that because oh, you're yeah. disturbing that bottom line. So it's just like if you find something that you can do, I would just slap the plates on the car and I'd use it for myself and my family and keep my mouth shut. Try Moses West, uh, for those who don't know, hang on a second. That's the man who brought the water machine to Flint, Michigan, and Puerto Rico. Moses West. Uh, he created this machine uh, through his atmospheric water generation. You know, um, I'm, I'm surprised he's still alive. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, I mean, a star, that's how it goes. You come up with something that's going to upset these people's bottom line yeah. they're gonna take you out you don't mean nothing to them and one more thing where's rory man we want to see how his um big fat pasty behind look so give him the cam <laughs> up i'll listen to the show take care thank you man Slew. thank you thank you okay. <laughs> rory check your email check your email uh-oh 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 janet good to hear from you on a friday night janet i got your email thank you so much thank you janet you're welcome anytime. Yeah. How are you? I'm great, but the emails you were sending me were in congested areas in North Carolina. I've already got my eye on something out there by Emerald Isle, which is more than like I'm going to go rent something out there for a year or two. Um, but that's, yeah, I'm looking along the Crystal Coast. I don't want to be in uh, 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 Charlotte, Raleigh. No. Oh. Okay. All right. No, um, one of my coworkers um, came up to me talking about something because he was getting re getting ready to retire. Okay. And he said that that's where he was going. And then I said, oh, okay. You know, I know someone's trying to go down there too. I'll let me tell him about this place. Yeah. So that's how that happened. Okay. Okay. Do you want to chime, yeah. in, chime in on so the topics he, tonight? On the topics? Well... The guys that are going to Columbia and are getting um, drugged up and beat up or whatever, they deserve every bit of it. Mm. 
every bit of it, every bit of it. Mm-hmm. When you think, let me tell you something. What's so different about these passport passport bro, bros going down there because they have a little bit of American money to get women to do what they want the woman to do? What's the difference between that and human trafficking? Can I respond? Can I respond? Can I respond? Yeah. Well, the passport yeah. bros, who I am in favor of, let me be clear. Uh huh. The passport bros are not just going to say, "Hey, I'm I'm here to spend some money." They're looking for again agreeable women, and what they're offering is security, Benef- benefits, mm-hmm. benefits. I've got a pension. More than likely, or I'm working towards a pension, or I have I have a home, I have equity, I have something that that will be and could be a valuable could be a value to you, you know, if you're willing to, you know, uh, follow my lead. So when you talk about sex trafficking, so, sex trafficking, you're talking about sexual gratification or celebrating the flesh. That's something different, Janet. But now you're you're, you're anti. Black man, let's keep it real, right? Every time you hear one of these stories, you always take the side of the mammy. Keep it real. No, I am not anti-black man. I have sons. Come on. But the only thing I'm stating is what you just um, described, um, financial security, this and that and that and that, if you do what I ask you or tell you to do, yeah. what is the difference between that and human trafficking? That is human trafficking. That is human trafficking. That- one is legal and one is illegal. If you have to really have to break it down, one is legal, one is illegal. Well, well which one is which one is moral and which one is immoral? Stop it, Janet. It, it's all business. Oh, no, we're we gonna talk. Let's talk. It's all business. Let's talk. Let's e- talk. E- even if you get married here, here in America, are you really making a moral choice, or are you making what you think is gonna be a good investment? What you think there's gonna be an ROI? Even women look look at men and say, "I don't know. He, he can't really do nothing for me, girl. I need security." Is that a moral choice or is that a business choice? That's an evenly yoked culture mm. choice. Come on. You understand what I'm saying? Come on. Because, you know, women here, they have a, well, what I know of, a rumor to be more independent so they could, you know, decide for themselves who they want. You know, you can't look at a man because I, you know, I had a package. You know, understand what I'm saying? The man nice in the bowl, we work, making money. One of them people that, one of them dark people, what they call that, you know, make a lot of money and stuff. So I had that. I had that on properties and everything. But I knew if I married that man, he was going to whoop my ass every day. Not physically, but mentally. You understand whoa. what I'm saying? Whoa, so I had a whoa, 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 I, I whoa, 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 whoa. Go back a second. A man's going to whip your ass mentally for what? what? What type of man? What are you talking about? The type of man that you're talking about that has this warped sense of logic that a woman must obey, bend down, mm. all this other stuff, and be submissive at all times. See, you know, if you if you want to go biblical, Eve was took it from the side of Adam. They're supposed to be by his side, but somehow people got it twisted that um, the woman's supposed to be beneath the man's feet. That's not how it was supposed to go from the beginning. Somebody warped it. Well, if you want to go to the Bible now, s- slow it down. It, she was created for, for. Adam. So you can play that little tomato, tomato. She came from this side, created for Adam. Not, a, not created together. Slow down, goddamn. If we talk in Bible. Not created together, created as, for as, Adam. As what? As what? Get it as right. As Get, as it right. What, Get it right. Get it right. Get it right. But but, but now hang hang, hang on a second. Hang on a second. You know, I don't argue with black women respectfully. Respectfully. 
Now, so so you don't believe in obeying your man. That's that's the word you have a problem with, right? And I have I obeying on man, right? Right. Okay. Well, answer the question, please. Don't answer the question with a question. I, it's I a have, simple have, goddamn question. I'm, I'm, Obey. I'm trying to answer your question. It's either yes or if no. It's either yes or no. Do you have a problem with the word obey? Yes or no? No, I no, I do not have a problem okay. with the word obey. It, I have a problem of who a person is obeying. Because you have to be man made in the image of God. Man, I'm not hard just because you got a, no, no. If you accept no, no, the, sir. just because Janet, Janet, please stop the yelling, or I, I'll get you out of here. Follow your Janet, truth. Janet, please stop the yelling. I don't argue with anybody. If you accept the ring, okay. If you accept the ring, you accept what goes with it, and you accept the obeying part. You see, it, it's black women who started that whole act. Ah, ah, we got to take that part out of the vows. Obey. You started that bullshit, black women. Go ahead. No, Go no, ahead. Go ahead. no. See, okay, I'm gonna tell you like this, okay? As a woman. I have worked all my life, been on the book since age 14, legal. You understand what I'm saying? Getting ready to retire in two years. I'm going to be living lovely. Yeah. What I'm trying to tell you is I have no problem obeying a man, but the man has to be worthy to be obeyed. You understand me? You can't just walk up to me and say, hey, I was born underneath the male gender, and I have dominion over you, and you have to obey, but you're a freaking idiot and i'm supposed to follow you what i'm going to follow you into you're a playing games jenna i've already said if you accept the ring that's the person you'll be i'm not talking about every man you've heard me say every male is not a man so that's why i'm saying if the man is worthy to obey that's when you take the ring the women here most women have the option i'm not, not to talking take the about ring. most women. i'm talking about you I'm worthy to be janet, obeyed. janet i'm not talking about most of them, i'm talking about you would you you Obey a man that you take his ring. That's the goddamn question. Yes. Yeah. And the reason I will take his ring is because I believe that he's worthy to be obeyed. You understand? I have to, I want to be. So why aren't you married? You got to be that. Jan you got to, you got, Janet. a man got to be that, a man got to be that man. He got to so, be that man. That's not talking. So Let's, why, why? Let's not, stop yelling. Stop, stop. Why aren't you married then? Because I chose not to. Okay. How simple is that? I chose not to. Is that correct? Janet's a liar and a nigger. I'm, so, I'm, Jan, Jan, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I had to say it. 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 Say it. A liar and a nigger. Um, hey, I appreciate the call. I want to finish up on something. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I want to ask one question. You stated that uh, <laughs> Come on, come on, come on. Come on. <laughs> come on. You stated that a, a woman was created for a man, right? But we no, never no, 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 no. I'm a I like to finish this. I'm I'm trying to respond. In your world, I said, if we're talking Bible, I am a non-believer in the theory of God. The Bible to me is just a book of folklore. So no, no, I, I don't, you know, I'm I'm throwing at you what you subscribe to. Okay, so that's what I'm trying to say. And what I subscribe to is a, a woman was created to be a man's helper. Okay, all right. That's a totally different definition okay. Okay. of what these passports Bros are doing. Okay. They are doing. They are doing nothing less and nothing more than human trafficking for a dollar. Okay. Instead of using chains and whips and guns, they are using a dollar bill. I'm landing my plane. Thank you, Jen. My plane. I, I appreciate you. I appreciate you. <laughs> okay, bye bye. I fuck with Janet heavy. Dana with the data. Dana, are you calling in? I just sent you the link. I just sent you the link. Oh, Dana, Dana, Kim Burrell. The hater misses nothing. I saw Kim Burrell singing, and some other woman was singing. Kim said, please don't sing with me. P please stop. Anybody see that? 
Who is she, Shady Kimberell? Told her, stop singing, please. You, you, you messing up uh, the vibe. <laughs> um, RLB, got your donation. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Um, is it mech we do it? Did I say that right? Supporting the star reporting YouTube. Thank you so much. I hope I said that right. M-E-K, we do it. Appreciate you, okay? Okay. Um, Darnell, got your donation. You, okay. Darnell, I, listen, man, I was born in 64. I struggle with Ebonics. Every person of color does not know how to read, you know, uh, what you've just typed, sir. Please, the King's English, please. Something about you gonna be do, black dude. Okay, are you trying to say I'm gonna be the only black dude on the Crystal Coast? No, there's other people on the Crystal Coast. They they have a a a, a thirst for living good along the beach. Those are beach communities. Where are you from, sir? With that fucking. I mean, I appreciate the donation, but God damn, that was hard to read. Brian, I got your donation. Rory doesn't want us to know he lives in a potato. Uh, I sent Rory um, the link. Hold on a second. Um, he just doesn't want to cam up. Uh, oh, hang, hang on. I think I know this is. Area code 209. Good evening. Are you there? 209 Friday. Que lo que. Randy, how are you, man? Good to hear from you. Not much. Taking it easy. Good to hear from us. Crack it, man. Yeah. Um, I got a conspiracy theory. Please. What if in the next five years, the tech this man built, it's a software update for Tesla? <laughs> and we see that man's tech in Tesla or in another American company being used. I think that's very much a reality. I don't, I don't even think that's a conspiracy. I, he's missing. <laughs> that man was killed, and and Stevie Wonder could see what see what the play is. Stevie Wonder could see what's going on here. My nigga, what the fuck is you talking about? <laughs> they took the patent and anything worth value in his brain, right. and then they turned this TV off. Do you think some other Africans sold him out? Nah, he probably came over here on behalf of unknown powers mm -hmm. to be honored or something or, you know, for um, further works to resources. And then they said, wait, this nigga really did invent this. Mm. <laughs> the powers that be said, ain't no way this nigga with the eighth, <laughs> eighth grade education made right. this. And then he started talking and showing him the patent, but now we did it. They went. Oh, okay. He, he said everything he needed to say. <laughs> For those who don't know, you're right. Eighth grade education from Zimbabwe, but uh, very, you know, a uh, uh, knowledgeable guy. When, when you watch him talk, he says that this technology that he has been creating uh, was inspired by God. So he, he's giving um, the credit to the all knowing to the universe so yeah. he was tapped into something that um he must have been some type of savant like nikola tesla he was tapped into possibly cold possibly and um yeah. whenever that's a that's dangerous that's why we don't have martyrs in today's society that's why anybody that is gifted comes off you know as a sheep or you know hides their gifts because they'll knock you off if you're special in this world yeah you don't want to stand out and help the world, you know, because we, like you said, you're endangering the a market after you gift that to the world. When you tell people that they can do this and they can get free energy and they can have renewable energy, mm -hmm. they're gonna they're gonna say, "Oh, that is crazy." Yeah. They're gonna they're gonna want you to believe that that is somewhat of a far-fetched um, um, invention.
But let me ask you this, um, Randy, you're Dominican. You're from the New York uh, City area. You're, you're hiding on the West Coast because uh, you allegedly stole a package from from the uh, from, from one of those gangs in uptown Manhattan. Um, if this were a Caucasian, very similar to um, the character Raymond in the 1988 film Rain Man with Tom Cruise, if he were Caucasian, he would be celebrated. He wouldn't be no. Mi- he wouldn't be missing. He wouldn't be missing. I, I actually have something to counter to that. There was a man that invented an engine, I think, that ran on water. We've and already spoken about that. There's a film they, called The Water Engine. We've already spoke from 1990. His last words was, they got me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm having a heart attack. His son said, they got me. <laughs> so if he was a white man, his life would have been just as much in danger as if he was a black man. Yeah. It's just a threat that niggas that are uneducated mm. in in modern society can come up with such fascinating and world bending creation. Mm. That's a threat to society. King Simon, check your email. If you're out there, King Simon, I need to talk to you, sir. Randy, I appreciate, hang hang on, Randy. Randy, um, I appreciate you, but listen, I want to switch this around for a second. Um, Passport bros, uh, supposedly getting uh, robbed and all sorts of other things. Well, in Colombia, there's a, a warning In case uh, I didn't mention this, uh, the U.S. Embassy in Colombia has issued a warning to American travelers regarding a drugging phenomenon. Any thoughts on this, Randy? Yeah, niggas, keep your head on the swivel. This, you see, people in America forget that in other places is very, very real. Even in the Dominican Republic, when people go over there, they're playing dangerous games. Yeah. When you go to these places, you are, um, here they call it trick roll. Over there, you are a target. You right. are a mark. Right. Once, once you're um, in the airport, certain organizations for organized crime follow mm-hmm. you to your hotel. Right. Right. Certain law enforcement work with the organized crime, and they're telling you, oh, he's been here five times in yeah. the last two years. Yeah. He likes to go. Yeah. He, so you're being right. very much watched. So people that think that, oh, I could go to this country because it's a developing nation and mm-hmm. I can make this my my own playground. Right, right. Just know that you have to pay and there's a huge price to pay. So for the type of fun that you want, it might come at a hev- heavier cost. That's why in certain cases you got to um, mingle amongst the locals. When you're um, paying these people to sell themselves you got to show love to the gangsters that are funding the bodies that you're getting you know yeah none of this comes at at no free cost and it's very risky just become lit in your city bro okay there's um bitches down to do anything down the block yeah just randy before you go um deeds sent me some information here uh do you know anything about the beef between um Nicki Minaj and Megan Thee Stallion. Deed says that the beef may have started because of Meg being friends with Cardi B. Uh, yeah. And, and Nicki accusing Meg of lying on Tory. That all is very true. You got to remember that um, the Black Boulets, they're very um, clicked up. So just because they're all in societies, they're not all part of the same gang. Okay. So if the if you're the friend of my enemy is up with you too, I'll sacrifice you. I'll make fun of you, like she just said. Right. Um, bitch fell off to her to get up with her good foot. Mm. That that's hilarious. That's hilarious. <laughs> making black women making fun of other black women's trauma <laughs> is is my. Is uh, that one of the bars? Bitch, bitch fell off. What? Is that one of the bars? She said, she said, bitch fell off. Tell her, get up with her good foot. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> wow. And, um, right now on Twitter, someone told Nikki to show her feet, and she posted up a picture of her feet yeah, yeah. to take a shot at Megan for getting, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, <laughs> a leg to the foot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah I, I saw the picture of, uh, of her bitch. feet earlier, yeah, but... Uh... Randy, I great- love me a petty queen, bitch. Okay, great to talk to you, Randy. Thank you, man.
Thank you. Need a body. Hey, hey but, uh, Randy, are you gonna um cam up? Well, no, you can't because you're in the run. But uh, all right, we'll talk later. We'll talk yeah. later. Yeah. Salute. So. Okay. All right, stay up, okay. big okay. nigga. Yeah. Yeah, you won't ever see Randy's face. He, he's on the run. He he kept it G. Star report back in the building. Okay, folks, Friday night, and we're having a good discussion. Even though Fridays are usually, you know, uh, fun-filled, somewhat silly, <laughs> silly shows, we're talking about a, uh, a a inventor. Pardon me, an inventor from Zimbabwe. Okay, supposedly missing. Um, multiple conflicting reports that he was poisoned. He's hiding Mexican hitmen after him. But one thing we do know for certain is that. Um, according to other, you know, other um, sources, he has created. Um, he made a hybrid engine, built a TV set that works without electricity. He's tapped into some type of frequency. I was trying to get people on the line tonight uh, who wanted to join the conversation. Uh, wait a minute! Whoa, 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 whoa! I have two people in the. Uh, I think it's called the backstage. Um, Rory, sit tight. Rory, sit tight. Let me see if I can bring in this gentleman here. Uh, good hey. evening, sir. Can you hear me? Yes, good evening, Star. Can you hear me? Yes, who are you, sir? My name is Mark Anthony, aka Brixton Jesus from London, UK. From the UK, thank you for yes. tapping in. Let, let me just say early, sir, I do not share video or audio content. I just want to be clear so that you don't get a copyright strike from my alleged daughter. <laughs> I know the rules, I've been listening and following for a long time. <laughs> Thank you for tapping in, man. Where do you want to start uh, with regards to the topics? Okay. The the inventions. That's yes. what I want to start with because these are the things that have the most um, impact on humanity. Okay. Okay. We can get to the BS after, but I want to start with the things that affect humanity first. Please. All great inventors from long before Tesla because we do know that ancient civilizations around the world have generated electricity in their own way in their own way if you look Back. in the tombs Back. of the pyramids not just in egypt but all around the world they there is proof that they had electricity light in them because there's no soot on the walls right that would have happened if they were using torches and flames yeah. okay so when we look at that and then we look now uh you know if you know anything about tartaria mud floods great resets and all of these things happening there's a lot of ways of covering it and silencing people and covering great inventions and um, innovation. So that includes silencing people and deleting them if necessary, you know, for want of a better word for the, to right. escape Al Gore's rhythm, right. you know? So, um, yeah, that's one thing I wanted to touch on. There was, so, there was another topic. I've been waiting for a while. So I saw the link late, but there was another topic. What was it, Star? Well, hang, hang on a second. I want to just go back to what you said. Uh, yes, okay. with regards to the Great Pyramids, they knew how to use the sun and how to uh, make it reflect throughout the pyramids and other things. Yeah, and we know that. Yeah, but, but you know... They most, also generated electricity. Right, right. But, you know, most people today, oh, they don't know how they made the pyramids. They, they try to act like it was some, some civilization from another planet. They don't want to give the people the credit who actually uh, were from that region. So I agree with you that that's what I'm saying. Um, but with regards to uh, the, the, the inventor uh, who is missing, do you know, know anything about his previous work? Because he's been at this for years. This is not just some... The story. only thing that, I've, that I'd heard of before, and you'd already mentioned it, was the TV that was able to be used without electricity. But if I'm if I'm correct, correct me if I'm wrong, you didn't mention this. That TV could also get all the channels. Yes, yes. Well, but I yeah, I, I just touched on because the... you didn't you didn't mention that part. So I just want to make sure that I, I want to add that. You thank, could get you could get all the channels with no subscription, no satellite, nothing. Yeah. I, I just threw it out there that he has tapped into some type of frequency. So yes, uh it probably has capabilities far beyond just channels. It, it can maybe tap into some type of uh, super internet highway where, where uh, access can be gained. You know, the, the, they can see see us through our uh, um, um, computers and things. Go ahead. They can see me right through the webcam I'm looking at you with right, right now through this phone. I know this. And the reason right. why is because... Um, 
I have a background. I provide media solutions. Okay. So anything that you can think of in the realm of creative media, whatever I don't specialize in, I can find a solution. Consider me to be the Black MacGyver. Okay. I may be specialized in audio, but when I'm on set of a production, anything that goes wrong and they thought they had to shut down, I can figure out a solution for within 30 seconds. Okay. When you've been having technical issues, I've been in the chat trying to send solutions to you, but I know that you have to prioritize super chats and other people and regular listeners and contributors. So I understand. But um, let me just say this. If you do have any technical difficulties, I'm more than happy to support you with technology okay. in terms of get you on solutions. A sponsor or something, I would appreciate that. Go ahead. 100%. Go ahead. So um, yeah, at the end of the day, we know that people are silenced to cover information. This we know. It's been happening for a very long time. We should not be surprised yeah, that something may have happened to this great inventor and this great mind. Hold on, my laptop is just saying it's going to die. Let me just plug the charger in. Um, Here we go. Great, got the charger in. Go um, We know this is happening. What we need to really be questioning is, what can we do for the security of our great minds? Because a lot of these people do come from poor working class backgrounds, or even worse. And where is the protection around these great minds? Are great scholars in our communities. They are to be protected at all costs. I'm not saying I have the answer. I'm saying it's something we should be thinking about, regardless of what your ethnicity or your background mm -hmm. is. Why are we not protecting our scholars? They should have to kill half the village before they get to those mines. If I had to guess with, with regards to your question, um, greed. Corruption greed, and I mean, greed, one hundred percent. Keep it real. You, you're from the UK. Are, are you in? What would you say you were again? Or did you give you? Okay, in my email, I, and this is one of the reasons why I've always wanted to tap in. Um, I was born in London, UK. I was raised in London, UK, Bridgeport, and Milford, Connecticut, USA. Gotcha. And Saint and Jamaica. Okay. Okay. So uh, we're talking about Africans. Let's keep it real. <laughs> Africans are about that business. Africans, it, it, uh, Africa, uh, uh, it, you know, the continent, they're all about tribes. It's not about, you know, who's my brother because we have the same skin color. So, no, 100%. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, so maybe, maybe what, with what regards to you, what, what you said, pardon me, <clears throat> um, protecting people, if you will, that sounds great, but. Africa is about business. It's all about, you know, who, who, which tribe can dominate the other, who can take your resources, utilize them and enslave your people. Yes. No. Well, yes, that's one. And two, we know that because that's what's happening on a global scale, too. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if I can just if I can just make a segue, I'm going to stick to the Please. topic just quickly. Please. Because I pay attention to geopolitics. Okay. Before I signed this lease, I made sure that I signed a lease that was all inclusive of utilities so that I'm making one payment for my rent that includes my gas, electricity and all of that, because I foresaw the spike in utility costs that was going to happen before this Ukraine war officially kicked off. OK. Um, and this is why I pay attention to what's going on um in the world why i pay attention to what's going on because you do drop the gems some people get to like to get sidetracked by the bs and i love the bs too but i pay attention seriously to what is really going on because i have children and i have to be mindful about the kind of world that they're living in so i can keep them away right right you know so um, I, I hear you loud and clear you know um yeah. uh, we're in agreement on 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 what you're saying uh, but now with regards to the missing to my knowledge, he he's missing. Anything out there in the UK that you guys know that we don't know? Because the news cycles are, are different. You guys are ahead of us, you know, hours ahead of us. Um, has this man uh, turned up? You know, uh, is is he okay? Is he dead? Not is to my not to my knowledge. But as soon as I get off, I'm going to check it out. And if I do find out any information, I will email it to you. Okay. Um. Bear in mind, my name is Mark Anthony, and in London, we pronounce the H. We don't pronounce the H. Okay. <laughs> it's Mark Anthony. Okay. Hey, man, No Mark I... Anthony. I had to correct all the Americans when I lived over there. No, it's Mark Anthony. The H so, is silent. You're back, you, you're back hmm? in the UK? No, I'm, I, I've been back in the UK since 2000. Okay. Permanently. My childhood and adolescence was spent moving between the USA, England, Jamaica, 
-hmm. It was unstable, but I gained a lot of experience and I've experienced one thing that I can say is consistent. Mammies are everywhere. There are ladies everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> but the hypergamous experience, the hypergamy is, is undefeated. Yeah. I've had sex in all three of these nations. And because I'm handsome, I get away with a lot of shit that a lot of the average men don't get away with. All so right, that's how right, I know. Right. <laughs> that's how I know. Hey, because I, I see, call, man. you know, I see how it's done. But Star, thank you very much for your thank time. You I'll be locking in. Mark Anthony from London, a.k.a. Bricks and Jesus. Serve your community people. Later. Yes, sir. Take care. All right. All right. Appreciate the man tapping in. Uh oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Somebody else wants to tap in. Let me see if this guy is. Is he ready? Hold on a second. Uh, okay, okay. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Yo, what that, up? Is that the white Denzel Rory? That's the white Denzel, baby. What <laughs> and only. What's what? going on, man? Good to see you. Okay. Pull back a little bit from the camera. Just pull back a little bit. There you go. Machilla, what? <laughs> Hello. What's going on, man? Hello. What do you say? I'll let your mama turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Come on, sir. Come on, sir. <laughs> Got the boogie boogie. What? I'm black tonight. I'm black. It's a black show. I'm black tonight. I'm wearing my, my face mask. That's how all the black people uh, walk around where I live. I don't know what city you live in, but where I live, uh, it's a black show. So we're going to be black tonight, you know? <laughs> Now, oh, those are illegal. Oh, good. In, in, so in good. Oh, yo, illegal. everybody in the live chat, they want to kill me. Everybody, I got something for you. Ah, ah, I kill your ass. I kill your black ass. I kill your black ass. <laughs> you know? Those are illegal in Philly. You can't wear those masks. You can still wear those in New York City, those masks? Oh, hell yeah. Anything goes over here, Pop. Anything goes over here, Star. We, we just, you know. It is what it is, man. We want to wear a, uh, a mask. Even the migrants wear the mask, man. I was Even the migrants wear the say, mask. So the migrants are wearing masks. They're on scooters and, and yeah. shoot each other. Oh, my God. What a way to come introduce yourself to a new country. You got the full body clava on, you know, the full face mask. You know, let us be humble and migrants. We're going to walk in your building, you know. They need to get their donations up. They want to see my, my mug, man. I don't know. People in the live chat kind of weird. Like, they've never seen a white person before or some shit pull like that. Back, Rory, pull I back, Pull back just a little bit. Pull back just a little bit. There you go. Yeah. Well, a little closer. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. That's a good look. Right there. Stay there. Yeah. Good. Up, homie? Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, um, with regards to the African inventor uh, that supposedly is missing, any thoughts to get a chance to at least... um. Uh, pull the story? Yeah, nah. That's fake history. That's fake history, just like Rosa Parks. She mm. ain't, uh, nobody, no white man ever told her to get to the back of the bus or no shit like that. You know what I'm saying? It's just fake history. It, they mad because Elon Musk is the inventor from, from Africa. You know? They mad because the, 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 you know, the richest man in the world is from Africa and he's a white man. It just goes to show um, stereotypes are real. Mm. Like, you know, African dudes or the black dudes. Black dudes is like more, um, they can play basketball and shit. But they ain't inventing nothing. Mm. They're not inventing nothing. They're not like, you know, shit. come on, man. Yo, I look good on this shit. Come on, dude. We out here. <laughs> Busting movies in their face. What? <laughs> Ruby going to harden the paint. Look <laughs> all, all, all out of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, we can't, we can't, we can't, we can't really rock a, a gun out here without no, in New York City be. without like getting four years or three years. So we'll come right up on you and we stab you. Ah, in yeah. the face, in the face, man. We say, oh shit. This is a real shit. I'm a yo, hey, gangster. The love. This will happen to you. Get the love. That's what's gonna happen to you. Check it. Oh, that's my man. He got his own um shit. I don't know how to work this camera, man. The fuck. You're doing good. Just pull back. Anyway, pull back. Hey, so, so listen. Yeah. Um, passport, bro. Yeah, that's my my story. homie. He got the um the fishing the fishing gear, man. The fishing. Let me gear. see it. 
Let me see the logo. Turn the logo around. Let me see the logo. Yeah, I'm trying to get the logo on there. I don't know what the fuck. So, so who is it? That, that, that's your homies? Yeah, that's my homie, man. I can't see the logo. There you go. Up. I'll raise it up. Raise it up. Raise it up. Okay, there you go. So that's, that's a fishing yeah, hook. Yeah, that's the logo. That's a fishing hook. And then on the back of the shit, we got, I don't know if you can see it, on the back of the shit, we got that. What does it say? Hook life. Hook life. Yeah, hook okay. life. Yeah. I, I wear an XL top. XL top. Oh, and we got the we got the bows. We got the bows. Check it out. Yo, I already I already camped up on um what's what's the whole what's the what's the fucking gay dude's name? Um FBJ. I already camped up on FBJ shit. Okay. He got sick. I brought him out to the to the, I brought him up to the to the rooftop deck on the building. He yo, he almost threw up. Him and the yo, they almost threw up. Sooner or later, so I'm gonna give you. I'm, I'm renovating the apartment. No, no, I'm, no, I got no. everything gutted to the studs, man. No, no. I'm renovating the apartment. So sooner or later, I'm gonna show everybody how we live, how we living in New York City. You know, if you're getting real money, and you know, that's what it is. Okay, know? okay. Well, hey, man, good to hear yeah. from you. Thanks for tapping. We we'll give you a tour of the apartment. It, it, it ain't nothing, you know. And if they get their donations up. I know we, how you move. We go, we, yeah, we're gonna take the mask off, man. I we're gonna take the, the high the you mask move. off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey man, it's we'll catch up boy tomorrow. Right I here. might do a show Saturday night. Uh, I'll hit you tomorrow in the afternoon. Yeah, no doubt. Good to talk to you, boy. Salute, salute. All right, man. Okay, all right.